Hey friends, and welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba, a first time homesteader, and today we are out here with my honeybees. We are gonna be feeding them. Before we get into that though, did you know you can become a member of the channel and get a cute little badge next to your name and other behind the scenes posts? So now that you know, let's get to feeding my bees. The reason that we are feeding my bees today is because we have a situation called a dearth. A dearth is when there are hot and dry conditions and man, it is hot. So food may not be readily available, but I want to make sure that my honeybees are thriving and that they have food. So in here I have sugar water, which is a one to one ratio of sugar, white sugar and water. And I'm going to be pouring that into their hive. I'm going to show you. Let's get to taking this apart and feeding our bees. I'm just going to be taking this top off. setting it on top of the other hive. And I'm not wearing my protect protection gear today, but man, if I was, it would be so hot. So it doesn't look like there's much action going on up here. What this is called is a super. And I have a queen excluder, but this is where the bees are gonna be migrating up to and hopefully storing excess honey and the honey that's going to be up here is going to be my honey so i want them to come up here as you can see there's not much action bees should be crawling around and i really want them to come up here so i'm trying to figure out how to do that at the moment i may have discovered the problem is that they're working on the bottoms instead of actually working on the cells yeah, it sh they should not be doing that, so I have to deal with this. But for right now, the most important thing is getting them food, and I'm gonna worry about the excess honey later. Now we're gonna take off this honey super, and I'm gonna be super gentle because, as we saw, they have some buildup on the bottom, and I don't want anything to stick, so. And I'm just going to set it down gently. This is our queen excluder right here. And they should not be building on this. This is a problem. I'm going to have to scrape this off. I need the girls to be building up in the honey super. So normal things as a beekeeper and I got to stay on top of it. Right here you can see through the queen excluder this is the frame feeder down in there and I'm just going to be pouring in the sugar water into the frame feeder. Now I'm just going to pour this in really slowly and I already did this on the other hive and yes the bees are so happy. I'm going slow because I don't want the water to run anywhere into the hive except for the frame feeder. And man, it has been so, so dry lately that I can't imagine that they are having a bountiful harvest right now. I'm kind of missing spring with the never ending flowers and dandelions. And they have sugar water, they got food. I came out here to feed them and I'm gonna be doing a full hive check in the next day or two and that's when I'm gonna clean this up. I don't have my smoker and other equipment so I don't wanna mess with them. I'm gonna do that on another day. But I'm gonna take the honey super and just put it back on carefully. Right. Put our top back on. I love my bees so much. They're so sweet. We have fed our bees. They're gonna be happy bees and I hope they start coming up into this honey super to give me some honey. 
I'm wondering if I'm going to begin any comments about the excessive bearding that I have of my colonies going on, especially this one right here. Bearding is when the bees are just all over the front of the colony. And I know some beekeepers may be like, your hive is going to leave you because this might be a sign of my hive leaving me. But what is so cool about bees is that they can regulate the temperature of their hive. Did you know that? And they do this by coming out and fanning their wings because it gets so hot. And as a first time beekeeper, I'm almost wondering if I didn't paint these too dark because the sun just beats down on them all day and it's dark color. So it's absorbing all of the heat. That is something I'm learning. If anybody knows, you can let me know down below. I'm not worried about my hive leaving me and going to find a new home somewhere else. As you can see, this hive beards more than this hive, which I believe is solely dependent on the direction of the sun. I believe this one is getting more sun, so it has a higher internal temperature. And these bees are out here buzzing, trying to make it cooler. Another thing I've been trying to do with my bees is give them a close water source. So I set this up right here with some wire that they can easily crawl into the water, but they don't love it. They would prefer to use the other water bowl that I have set up for the dogs. And I guess if that's what they wanna do, I figured it'd be nice that they wouldn't have to travel far but so far they're not loving it. And I've had this out here for a few weeks now. I recently had to put this temporary barrier around my hives because some cows escaped from the back pasture and it was the middle of the night and these cows are so destructive and all I had was this protecting my bees. So I came out here, got a little crafty with what I could cause I did not want these cows to come tromping in through this and knock over my bees i would have been devastated thank you so much for coming with me and watching this video coming out here to feed my bees make sure they're getting fed during this dearth it is so insanely hot and dry so i want to make sure that my bees are well taken care of don't do anything a gobble wouldn't do and i appreciate your time coming to hang out with me on the homestead you guys are the best i'll see you next video bye